Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'll be sharing 5 tips for lead code. As we know, today, a lot of us spend a lot of time on lead code platform. For those who are new to lead code, let me tell you that lead code is a coding platform. And people spend a lot of time on lead code to enhance their coding skills so that they can crack any coding interview or they can excel in their competitive programming journey. So today, I'll be sharing 5 tips for lead code which will help you to get maximum benefit out of it. These tips will be applicable for other similar platform like lead code, for example, HackerRank, CodeChef, CodeForces, whatever platform you use, you can follow this tips over there as well. So let's start with the first tip. Do not click submit button frequently. So many a times we keep clicking submit button to check if our solution is correct or not. Very impatiently, we rely on the system to tell us whether our solution is correct or not. But let me tell you, this is not the correct way to do it. Because every time you click your submit button, that shows that you are not confident about your solution. Ideally, when you write your code, you should go through it thoroughly and try to do a dry run with some test cases so that you can come up with a decision if your solution is correct or not. Because in real interviews, you won't get any system like this, right? You have to give your solution on a paper and you have to tell that this is the solution I have written and I'm confident about it and this should work. So to gain such a confidence, what you have to do whenever you write a solution, try to do a dry run on some test cases and try to find, find out the corner cases and then take a decision if you want to submit this solution or not. By practicing this kind of coding, you will see that you will be much more confident in your coding rounds. So try to practice it. Let's move to the second tip. Keep bad problems for later. What do I mean by bad problems? So let me tell you that whenever you solve any problem on lead code, if you notice at the top, you will see the number of likes and number of dislikes on any given problem. It is important to understand that you're going to spend an hour or two for this problem, right? So you have to be very careful that are you going to learn something from this problem? So that is the reason you always should check the number of likes and dislike ratio. So for example, let's say here there is a problem on lead code delete a node in a linked list and if you see the number of likes and dislikes comparatively the number of dislikes are very high that means there is something not good about this problem you can you can simply go to the discuss and you can see the people must have written various reasons for that here someone has asked why lead code accepted such a stupid question there could be various reasons the description could be uh, confusing or something else that's the reason i'm saying first check the number of likes if you feel that spending some time on this problem should be fruitful to you otherwise you should first target the good problems from which you can learn more and probably when you feel that you have already solved a good amount of problems then maybe you can solve this kind of problems right later on anyways there are a lot of good problems on lead code a list is so exhaustive so my advice would be you can mark it for later or or you can do one thing you can spend a little amount of time as much as you can so that you don't put your energy to this kind of problems initially okay by following this strategy you can assure that you are spending time on good problems and in the long run you will see that in real interviews also you will be getting some good problems so let's move to the next tip be consistent it is very important to be consistent when you solve coding problems because when you solve a coding problem and you learn some new algorithm it is very important that you solve similar kind of problems where you can apply those algorithms so that you totally understand the algorithm and the intuition behind it and you should be confident enough that in future if you get similar kind of problem it should be quick like you should be able to tell that this algorithm should be applicable here and to gain that confidence what you have to do you have to be very consistent so it is very important to be consistent when you solve coding problems. Following this strategy, you will see you will be able to understand hints in the interview. You will be able to come up with the optimized solution quickly because in interviews, you, you hardly get 45 minutes to 60 minutes, right? And in that, you have to come up with the base solution. So that doesn't work when you come across a new problem uh, where you need to apply an algorithm which you don't know. It will become very difficult for you to come up with the base solution. So it's very important. Be consistent. Solve problems every day. Try to solve similar kind of problems so that that particular uh, algorithm or the intuition is clear to you. You should be able to identify similar problems and apply those algorithms what you have learned today. So yeah, be consistent. Let's move to the next tip. Use filters efficiently. So let me show you. There are a lot of filters on lead code platform, right? So let me show you some of the filters here. If you see here list, it has top 100 light question, top interview questions. Then we have filters like easy, medium, hard. Then we have tags where you can select any of the specific topic. So try to use these filters as much as you can because this will help you to target similar difficulty level of problems. So let's say today I am a beginner. I would like to solve only easy problems, right? So I, what I'll do, I'll simply select the easy problems. I'll see that here I get a lot of easy problems. I will first try to enhance my skills, coding skills so that I can move to the next level of coding problems, right? This way you can target only what you want, right? 
so this filters is very important to understand let's say if you move to a uh, difficulty level hard right so here if you see though the difficulty level is hard the acceptance percentage is also high that means compared to this problem median of two shorted arrays and sum of distance in tree compared to this problem this problem is easier right let's say you you want to target hard problems so what i would suggest is just sort this acceptance with descending order so that you get more accepted problems right as you know these are hard problems right and if you start targeting those problems whose acceptance percentage is low that means that is much more harder so try to solve this kind of problems whose acceptance percentage is higher comparatively right then this will give you more confidence to solve more hard problems so this is where this kind of filters helps so try to understand these filters try to use it when you are using lead code or any other such platform you can also solve problems which is uh, company specific let's say you are preparing for amazon then you should be solving amazon questions so that you can understand what kind of question they ask and if you are applying for microsoft you should be solving questions from microsoft but all this thing you do once you become confident solving uh, different algorithms or different topics right so that's about using filters let's move to the next tip practice your not so good topics by that i mean uh, sometimes we are good at some topics let's say you are good at dynamic programming or you are good at graphs but we are not good at let's say binary search or or binary trees so you should be also targeting your weak points because you don't know what kind of question you are going to get in your real interviews right you might get questions from tree you might get questions from binary tree you might get question from greedy algorithm or sorting algorithm so it is very important to practice and learn uh, topics which you are not confident about i have seen people who are afraid of questions from tree who are afraid of questions from graph i would suggest you to to simply use these tags go to tags and then simply let's say if you want to gain confidence on tree topic right simply select it and then start solving like also you can filter here the easy problems you can simply start solving those right this way you can gain confidence on any kind of topic don't afraid of any topic because you might get questions from them and you don't want to lose this opportunity right so it's better to be prepared don't get into a trap of solving problems from topics which you know right rather try to improve on topics which you are not confident about okay i'm not saying that don't solve problems in which you are confident about practice it but also target your weak points it's very important so yeah that's about the fifth tip i hope you will like this video and this simple tips will definitely help you overall in your coding journey also if you have any other tips do write it down in the comment section so that others can also get to know about it if you find this video helpful do like this video and share this video with your friends and also check out our competitive programming playlist where i have uploaded more than 20 videos from lead code this, this video will definitely help you in competitive programming journey that's all about this video if you learn something from this video please hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press that bell icon so that you get notified for our upcoming new videos thank you for watching